Hello wonderful people. Good afternoon once again. Welcome back to the second episode. I thought I, I want to do this back to back. Uh, today uh, in this episode I'm going to be doing a fragrance house called Costume National and this is uh, perhaps my third review from this house. I have done Soul and Um from this house. I, if I'm not mistaken my memory serves me right. So my dear brother Ifran Pai was kind enough to provide me with a sample here. Uh, this is a, like a decant that he made for me and it's kind of like a light green juice so the fragrance it's something i think new release perhaps and uh, let me check i have the no this is not a new release but the fragrance actually is one of the lesser talked about ones so it's called cyber garden there you go there is the bottle there and uh, the notes break down i'm going to refer to them in a while so very nice bottle nice looking bottle and this i believe is a niche house if i'm not mistaken um the fragrance uh Costume National, they have quite nice smelling ones. I tried the, the ones I tried, I really like. Soul is my favorite so far. Let me see how this one goes. So this fragrance, uh, it's kind of like herbal, not herbal, more green, fresh, and kind of like a strange kind of perfume. <laughs> and I'll tell you, let me uh, spray this. I'll show you the bottle once again. And you can actually check out by Googling the image. So here you go. Um, okay, think got enough there already. The sprayer, because I'm spraying from left hand, I actually have a dislocated finger, so this one is kind of crooked, so I don't have much strength in this one. So, yeah, let me try that. Uh, let me try, not let me try, let this settle down, and I'll talk it, talk about the fragrance in a while. So, the fragrance, uh, as far as fragran Fragrantica tells you, this, once again, the bottle looks like, how the bottle looks. Looks like polo green, but much ni nicer looking. Nice box as well. Uh, so, it was released, uh, in 2013, classified as Oriental Fujiar. Um, Cyber Garden was created by Ennio Capasa. I don't know if I'm saying that right, and Anton, Antoine Lee, that person I know because uh, uh, he or she is responsible for doing the X fragrances. And uh, top notes are bergamot, grapefruit, pink pepper, and green notes. Meal notes are vinyl, vinyl, I don't know how do you say this word, um, but pretty much uh, geranium, saffron, and violet leaves. Base notes are vetiver, patchouli, apoponax, and uh, labdanum and moss. So basically, yeah, if you see the nose breakdown here, uh, this is the vinyl, vinyl, I don't know how you say that. I think it's kind of like the smell. I have one fragrance that has that note, and I, I'm familiar with it. So what you get from spraying this for the first time, I'm sorry, I cannot show you the bottle because I have only this. It's a very different, I really like it. Uh, Ifran Bhai said he really likes the fragrance, and he wanted me to look at it since this is not reviewed that much so i really like it if you like green fragrance kind of aromatic uh, kind of like poison ivy sort of smell kind of like a smell of jungle if you want to smell something green yet uh, sweet kind of floral uh, think of something in line with uh, not decadence only but there's another fragrance i cannot remember at this point that was also very green exotic kind of a fragrance so basically this is a green aromatic as a, as they say fougere but uh, i think the fragrance is just beautiful green kind of a fragrance and very um, unique in a way okay i did not smell anything like it uh, i cannot like really pinpoint or compare this with something else that i have in my collection or i sniffed before very nice fragrance very nice very green watery a uh, little bit citrus but the dry down that's the most interesting thing that vinyl vinyl uh, not vinyl i think vinyl v-i-n-y-l that note I smelled before, and that was this perfume, Playboy New York. Do not get put off by, turn off by uh, this perfume comparison, because this one has that uh, brand new car seat, fabric seats, you know, if they're synthetic fabric seats, when you uh, deliver a car, like, you know, it doesn't have a leather interior, it has more like, a, you know, those seats, but more synthetic ones, you know, like the, maybe, um, it's like kind of rough and then waterproof, those seats, if you smell brand new, that's the smell you're gonna get from this perfume as well. So it's kind of like those records, you know, the labels that you put. I think brand new, kind of like what is this actually? Like something plasticky. At the same time, it's something like the substance. It has that distinctive smell. So if you know how Playboy New York smells, it has that note, but it doesn't smell. Someone said this is a clone of this, uh, or these are equivalent or similar. No, only note. That's the note that these two are have in common. So I would say this is a. Uh, summer and spring kind of perfume and this is a perfume that you want to wear even if you like uh wait there's one other perfume i'm thinking of 
uh, this reminds me of um, I think one of the bond number nine uh, New York or I think it was the green one wait bond number nine uh, that is similar to this one ultraviolet man wait sorry I did not bring this here first this fragrance right here if you know ultraviolet man this one feels a little bit like I would say that uh, bond number nine um, which one is it again hold on I have to remember the name yeah sorry about that folks I need to take a break it's this one Blicker Street I'm not saying this is the same fragrance as that but Blicker Street has kind of like a feel if you like the fruity aspect it has a little bit of the green fruity uh, exotic feel that I get from this perfume particular perfume okay so it's pretty nice I mean uh, it's not for gonna be liked by everybody it has uh, this own thing going on it's not trying to like copy someone or didn't try to do something in line with something popular but if you're looking for something new if something for unique kind of perfume green perfume but not like polo green not like leathery animalic this is more on easy going side I think the fragrance smells pretty nice it has kind of like a designer vibe as well but in a good way I think the fragrance you can use for dating everyday usage uh, you're going out for a walk in the morning in the woods this is a good fragrance for that okay but the name it's kind of <laughs> cyber garden you know it's kind of like a futuristic name you know like somewhere imagine like long time ago you know like the release was like long time ago right so basically i mean the fragrance i don't know what they're going for um but i really feel like this is a very different unique kind of a perfume that is built for men men would really like this perfume and you can wear it for your work uh, like I think this is gonna be good office friendly kind of a scent do not wear this in gym in the class you can use it but I think it's a little bit more mature fra fragrance crowd perhaps so basically cyber garden is a very nice perfume uh, would I buy a full bottle of it let me try some more days I like my green fragrances but they have to keep me interested for number of days if I lose interest in few days like oh okay I know this DNA I'm not gonna wear it again much uh, then perhaps it's not a full bottle worthy but I think definite try and uh, this house is actually pretty good quality they produce good quality fragrances so to check out cyber garden and this fragrance is from house of costume national overall this fragrance i will be giving this uh, what i smell from it i'm giving it like eight out of ten solid eight out of ten a very nice uplifting green fragrance so that's about it now uh, so i'll see you soon and take care have a very nice day Bye bye